Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete your summer homework. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure we can download our document and get it open in Microsoft Word. So the whole purpose of this assignment is to be looking at uh, career opportunities in uh, two of the four career pathways that we have available here at Hughes. Okay, uh, We have engineering, health and biosciences, software development, and uh, plant and animal sciences. Now you will only need to complete two of the four grids uh, for each pathway, right? So uh, if you're interested, if your top two choices are engineering and health and biosciences, you only need to complete the pages for engineering and health and biosciences. You do not need to complete the grids for software development and plant and animal sciences if those are not your top two to go about completing each grid. So in this case, um, for engineering, the engineering pathway careers, um, or any of the other ones actually, uh, you, we need to start off by going to this link here. Okay, so once you click on that link, it's going to take you to a website that looks like this. On the left-hand side here, you're going to see your occupational groups. What you're going to do is pick an occupational group that aligns with one of your uh, pathway interests. Okay, so for example, if you are interested in, say, plant and animal sciences, maybe farming, fishing, and forestry is a good place for you to start because all three of those things consist of plants and animals. I'm going to pick one that we don't have here, so like business and financial. I'm going to go ahead and open up that occupational group, and I'm going to fill out one of these lines for uh, the business and financial occupation. Okay. So in this case, right, uh, we'll pick the top one because it's the first available. We'll say accountants and auditors. So I'm going to open up that application and all of the other um, occupations, their pages look the exact same. So notice that we have these different tabs up here. All of these tabs correlate with the different tabs that we have on our grid. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick three of the careers that line in with that one pathway okay so you need to complete all three of these rows here to get the points for filling out this one grid okay so i'm going to go about doing one of these for uh, the occupation of accountants and auditors now do not do accountants and auditors because we do not have a business pathway here at hughes so do not do what i'm doing right now do one that aligns with um, a pathway that you're interested in so the first thing we need to do here is we'll notice that we need to list the career title and then the annual salary wage. Okay. Notice how if I go over here, I see accountants and auditors. So the name is going to be accountants and auditors, right? Now we need to pose um, lists or what that annual salary wage is. If we look over here, we'll see that we have the hourly wage and we also have how much they make a year. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to highlight that information and hit Command C. I'm going to go over to this page here and then hit Command V. Notice how it just pasted that information there for me. So I'm going to make sure that I have, oh, that's in the wrong box. I'm going to go ahead and move that where it should go here. And then I got rid of my auditors. So now we'll notice that um, it asks you for what experience, education or experience you need for this job. So if I look at this one here, typical entry level for an accountant or auditor is a bachelor's degree. So I'm going to, again, highlight that information, hit Command C on my keyboard, and then paste that into uh, that box there. You can also just type that in. Either one works. So now it is qualities and skills. Before we know what qualities and skills you need to have to be an auditor, we have to know what they do. So what I'm going to do is click this what they do tab here and let's find out what they do. So automatically, um, you know, just by pictures and imagery, we see that there's a calculator here, which means it's going to involve some math. So um, if math is something that you automatically know that you're not into, maybe this isn't the career field for you. Um, but if we read sort of what these duties are here, we'll see that um, there are certain skills that you might need, right? Like management skills. Um, you're gonna need to be able to work within the government. 
uh, and then you're also going to have to be able to work well with others. So all of these could be skills. Um, you know, you could even put math skills. You could put interpersonal relationship skills. Um, you know, and in managerial skills. Right. So we, when we think about um, what are the skills that this person would have to um, participate in each day based on the um, information provided here, right? Now when it says day-to-day -day work environment, what you're going to do is click on this work environment tab, and it's going to tell you essentially what the schedule's like. You know, most accountants, auditors uh, work full-time, some more than 40 hours a week. Long periods of work are typically at certain times of the year, such as the end of the year budget, uh, dot, 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 right? Um, so essentially, you're going to be working in an office. Um, you're going to be working 40 hours a week. And you're going to be work. you can work for either um, for uh, finance and insurance, government, or companies. Okay. So that's just one career here. Okay. This is all I'm looking for. Um, essentially, all I want you to do is just be aware of what these opportunities are. Also, here's the thing, right? If you look, if you spend time looking at three careers within the engineering pathway and you realize that all those are kind of a bummer and you don't want to do that, that's we're, that's a part of that process. Also, we're looking into what careers um, are available so we can maybe refine something that we didn't know existed to begin with. Okay. So you're again, you're going to do that for two uh, your top two uh, pathways. So if you are interested in engineering pathway careers, you're going to complete this whole grid. And then if you're interested in health and biosciences, you'll complete this whole grid. But let's say your two least favorite are software or IT and then the zoo program, you do not have to complete those two. Okay, so you have to complete two, you have to complete your top, your top favorite. Okay, now notice when we go down here, we need to complete our Naviance assessment. To complete your Naviance assessment, essentially it's asking you what your learning inventory style is. Um, so this is something you're also doing in your English class right now. So it's basically asking you, for example, if you are a visual learner, um, if you're a kinesthetic learner, things like this, um, and you're going to put that information down there. So essentially we're thinking about how you learn best. Okay, so you should have already taken these in your Naviance and now in your um, in your Naviance, along with your learning styles inventory, you should also be able to see your GPA. Okay, so for both of these here, um, we're really looking at sort of how we can start you off on the right foot this year. Uh, this this year, you are um, your GPA is really going to start affecting uh, your 11th and 12th grade, and there are three E's, right? Your either employment, enlistment, or enrollment. So we really want to make sure that we have a good, solid foundation of kind of where we are going into this year and how we can make it the most.